the HK Army Magtech Paintball Pack. So this is a, a really kind of traditional paintball harness that we saw from HK at World Cup. So they showed this off a about a week ago. Uh, I'm gonna have an actual full review on this thing uh, hopefully very soon. You'll probably see this next week, uh, maybe like four or five days or something like that on this channel. Uh, a, not this channel, over on the main channel, uh, or I don't know, maybe on this channel, it matters if you're watching it. But the whole idea behind this is that instead of Velcro, hence the name, there are magnets holding those straps on. So we have two big magnets. And what I kind of liked about this, I, I noticed first right away, you actually don't have to like line this up really well. Even if you like overdo it, like say you put the magnet way up top or something like that, it kind of like slides itself back into position without pods in there, it's kind of weird, but it definitely like snaps back on. Uh, it's pretty cool. I like it. Uh, it's nothing super crazy. I mean, it holds 11 pods. You got the four main compartments, three in the center and then two on the outsides. Uh, to give you 11 pods in total. Uh, one of the things that I kind of noticed right away that a lot of companies aren't doing, uh, I think this could add a little bit of stabilization to those pods, maybe make them stay in place a little bit better, is instead of having, let's let's grab a pod real quick. It'll make it a little bit easier to demonstrate. So one thing that, yeah, I noticed was that they actually put like the, uh, see, you can kind of see like, if I put this like weird off or something like that, it kind of like pops back into place. So it's kind of neat. Um, yeah, so one of the things I noticed is that these elastic like top parts that kind of help secure that pod in place are actually sewn way to the bottom. So you can kind of see uh, that elastic piece right there and that cutout, well, that's hard to show, but that elastic cutout piece. Uh, so they're sewn way to the bottom of this. So you have all of that tension right there. So I think that having that sewn to the bottom rather than like to the top portion like they're normally at right up here. Uh, I don't know, it just makes it a little bit more stable. Uh, it makes them a little bit more secure. And you can see that when you do that too, all that elastic when the pod is out, kind of all retreats inside. So you don't have like elastic parts hanging out uh, like you would on, I don't know, most of the other packs out there. It does not have a ton of lumbar support, just kind of regular uh, back normal padding area. What I like, I know it's always super loud, uh, is how they actually put a little bit of pad uh, on these side areas. So for me, I'm mega skinny uh, and that's where my hip bones are. So I like how there's a little bit of pad right there to kind of ride up on my hip bones to help uh, make it just that much more comfortable. I mean, I don't think it's that comfortable. It's just a normal paintball pack. It's nothing uh, super crazy. They're made well, goes on good. I really like the design. I'm a fan of the way all those extra little pod holders look, uh, how they put that like extra like little, I don't know, I think that's like a rubber taping job kind of thing around those. Uh, I like it. I think it adds a little bit more stretchiness uh, and really makes them a little bit more durable. I do really like these. I think that they're made uh, pretty well. This is the best made HK pack. So yeah, it's better than a zero G one. That's for sure. Uh, or the hostile pack or the eject harness. Uh, so I like it. The HK Army Magtech pack. 